Well, speaking of silicone, that was one of the songs that you had with DWV. Um, yes. We're in a girl group with them, with Willem and then Vicky Box. You I mean, I remember being in Atlanta at the time and I was working at a gay bar and Boy is a Bottom came on all the, t all the TV screens. Take that! Take it! Blah, blah, blah. I remember that was the first time I had actually seen like drag performers performing something like that was like their own music that like, you know, they like whatever parody the song, but it was on everywhere. And then I, in my head, I still, if Girl is on Fire comes on, it's not, no, it's Boy is a Bottom. It's not Girl is a Bottom. It's ruined all of those songs for me. <laughs> Everything I hear, um, I almost called it Blurred Lines. Blurred Lines, I always, I can't help but sing our songs. Because they were really great. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it was a really fun and wild experience. And uh, we're all very glad. We're all in a really good place now. So we, we, we talk a lot now which is really nice because it's a huge departure from where we were years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I was speaking with Willem, he had told me that when you guys um, recorded Boy is a Bottom, I, I want to know if this, this story is true, but he said that... Detox went to sleep on Mark's couch, and then she went in, did her rap, one take, and then said, wait, I can do it better. And then did the second take. The first take is what we used, though. Like, she literally did one take, then she went back to bed. I Well, yes, that is true. But I wasn't tired. I was... I was very hungover, <laughs> and, <laughs> which I mean, I guess I was tired, but I'm pretty sure Vicky picked me up at our friend Brandon Wild's house where I ended up falling asleep at and we had a crazy party and Vicky picked me up and I was still wearing like the, the, my outfit from the night before, which was fuzzy pink hot pants and a lot of makeup. <laughs> and that's how I went into the studio. <laughs> But uh, yes, I'm pretty sure I did get it in one in one take. That's crazy. I think it's like it's so cool. Like I, I'm very glad that you guys are in like a good place now. That's what when I spoke to Willem, he said the same thing. He said that like it's it was kind of like a family situation. You know, you can have your ups and downs, but you all are kind of like in great places now. Yeah, for um, sure. I know that Willem also said to me that kind of what had led to the downfall or what started to lead to it was that. We're backstage, literally talking, Detox Vicky and I, before we go on. And it, Detox realizes she's not being paid and we are. Because something came up. She was livid. And you know, where do you put that anger? Yeah. You know, it's like one of those things where there were a lot of things going on. I am not free from blame, obviously. Um, they are not free from blame. Um, but we're better and older. Is that true? Probably a lot of the a lot of the like logistic things I really don't even remember because it was um, if a it's been so long and b it was uh, it was really petty like you know in the in the scheme of things um, and I wasn't the one who was the most pissed off <laughs> I was kind of the middleman the whole situation even though there were things that were upsetting to me as well but it was kind of this weird thing because I was I was always trying to be, I don't know, like the peacekeeper. Um, and then until I wasn't able to, and then, and then it just all kind of like went to shit. But I mean, I'm sure that happened. There was a lot of, you know, it was a, it was, we were, it was a whole new thing that we were all trying to navigate um, that hadn't been done before. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's basically like a girl group too. And you, everybody has different opinions on minds. Like it's so much, I, I can't imagine. And then, traveling around the world would you ever travel again with them or would you ever do a reunion uh, um i think i don't know there was a while there that i was like absolutely not and i think now that we've come together and we talk, we've been talking so frequently and we're like oh you know like it's been very nostalgic the last couple months like going and just things popping up and we recently just had the anniversary of of the chow down video in march and um, I think Boys of Bottom came out recently, you know, a few years back. Um, so it's all these like things that just happen like in your little, in your memories. And we're like, we just messaged like, oh, remember how we did, when we did this and how crazy it was. And I think it would be fun. I don't think that we could be able to do it as extensively as we used to. For sure. It was just, it was just a lot. And I also feel like timing is really important. Um, and 
if we were to do it, we need to do it really, really well because it's something that's been long in the making and, and um, we want to have as much fun with it and we want everyone else to really enjoy it and get the most out of it if it happens. Exactly. 